sound right. It sounds, it sounds weird. Like, uh, definitely have a little... Let's see what's inside here. Papa Smurf, guess what? Oh, oh, you almost got it. I'll keep reaching for it. Welcome back to Talking Serpents. So today, I need to get that enclosure ready for a new snake. So uh, let's get to work. So, I need to, first things first, I need to clean it out. Oh, you know what? I need to make some lights can turn on. All right, three, two. All right, now I got some lights to work with. So I gotta take all this bedding out of here and take this out and clean it all up. And then I will be doing, I'll be putting rocks in this enclosure. Kinda, it's a lot more, a little more natural for the particular sink that's gonna go in it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this big rock in there, but we'll see how that goes. But I'll be using 50-50 rocks and bedding, just aspen bedding, that's what I usually use. And uh, yeah, let's get to work. We need to get this glass out of here. Time to take the old rigid snake and clean it out. All right, you ready? Spray everything down with a bleach to water solution. This is what I use to disinfect. While that's all soaking, I can now show up something that I am pretty damn proud of, and it is new t shirts and a new company logo. We actually finalized the company logo. Me and my wife put this together. My favorite part is the T and the S are both snakes. So I'm pretty damn excited. I figured it was about time to make some company t-shirts. All right, and here is the woman's t-shirt. It is a little more tighter fitting. So about a year ago, I made some t-shirts for me and my wife, but I didn't like the way they turned out. They were a little bit kind of faded and uh, I definitely didn't like that particular t-shirt manufacturer. Since then, I've thought of a good handful of ideas um, that something that I could wear, be excited to wear, pull my t-shirt rope and be like, yeah, I wanna wear that. So in the upcoming videos, you should be seeing some of the uh, ideas that I thought of. So that's something to look forward to. So if you are interested in that, they are on my website, talkingserpents.com. All right, everything's all cleaned up. Nice and squeaky clean. All right, time to add some bedding. Could be too much bedding, not really now. I don't think this particular snake species even burrows, but I guess we'll find out. Just a little bit of a bedding over here because this will be underneath the rocks that are going to be your little rocks and pebbles that way it has some kind of uh, moisture absorption Got all the 
rocks and bedding in. I think it looks pretty good so far. I like this rock too. I'm not, oh, it's not gonna show up. Yes, kinda, maybe. Yeah, it's got a little rock crystal structure here and here and on the back side. Find that uh, at a lake in Texas. So, I'm pretty stoked on that as well. It looks pretty natural. And uh, now I'm going to get some of my hides and place them in here. See if I can make those naturalistic. And then uh, some foliage that will also go well with this. Let's see what I can get. Well, I like the way it looks. Got the little bedding under here. And we have the moisture absorption. And then the rocks that go on top of it. And some regular aspen bedding over here. That way that can stay a little more dry. And I like this rock. You can hardly see, but there's a little crystal structure on here and here and on the back side. Found this at uh, a local lake in Texas. And then I got my water bowl back here. This is gonna have water in it. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And I'm going to go find some hides, see if I can make uh, this look a little more naturalistic. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do for foliage, but uh, We'll see what I come up with. I might have a branch to go in here as well. All right, I got some hides, one on the hot side and one on the cold side. And they both look pretty dang naturalistic. Uh, let's see if I can get a branch. I know I got branches. Found some perfect branches. I think this one looks pretty good. Cradles onto this rock right there real nicely. Pretty stable. I got this branch over here. And so far I'm loving the way this is turning out. So can you guess what the snake's gonna be yet? I'm sure you got some good guesses. If you have any guesses, put them in the comment section below. All right, time to go get some foliage. Got the bushes in there. And I love the way it turned out. I had some bushes just sitting around and it just kinda, these aren't coming out. Put a bunch of like rocks and bedding in between it. Looks a little more naturalistic. Oh, focus, focus. There we go. But yeah, it looks more natural. And uh, I definitely love the way this turned out. All right, time to introduce the new snake to his home. Got my trusty snake hooks on my side. Sounds, sounds weird. Like, uh, definitely a little abnormal. Let's see what's inside here. Okay. Alright. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's something I've never seen before. Uh, hmm. This might be a two hook, hook situation. Let's see. Last time I handled it, the head was like three, four times as heavy as the rest of the body. It's pretty weird. Okay, all right, I'm gonna tail it because the head is so heavy. Okay, welcome to your new home. Okay, just point you into your new hide. Yeah, yeah, just, 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 just get on in there. Okay, that's good, yeah. All right, and uh, okay, I'll leave it be. Let me uh, close it up and seal the deal. Okay, excellent. Welcome to your new hive and home. All right, but on a serious note, don't handle a venomous reptile just like that. I was definitely a little bit, uh, obviously messing around because that is a, that's a robotic snake. So yeah, that was Fakey the Snakey. It's a little robotic snake. I think it's, I think it's a cat toy. I don't even know how I got it. <laughs> so. One of my subscribers uh, left it in the comment section when I brought it out on a previous video and I asked what people thought I should name it and they said Fakey the Snakey, so whoever you are, thank you. It's a great name. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think it's all out of power and uh, out of that it's really content with just keeping its head in the hide, so we're just gonna say it's a win and Fakey the Snakey loves the enclosure. 
No, this enclosure is not for a fake snake. Um, I should be getting a blank very soon and uh, hope to fill this enclosure with one of my dream animals. So stay tuned for that. I hope that's happening in the next week or so. All right, so now I gotta go feed my anaconda and my false water cobra. And those are definitely always fun snakes to feed, especially my false water cobra. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that snake is one erratic feeder. So time to go thaw out some rodents and go have some fun feeding snakes. Rat delivery. All right. It's the new service. You call me, tell me what rats you need, and I bring them. Apparently this false water cobra needs a, a rat. Here you go, sir. Oh. Okay, right on. While he's eating that, I'll show you my new tongs. So those are the old ones. There's my hand for size reference. And are the new ones. They are 24 inches long with some rubber tips on them. That way if the snake bites it, less likely to hurt their fragile little teeth. There's my arm for reference. I love these so far. That's actually the first time I've even used them. So I'm pretty excited so far. Heard you ordered another rat. Woo! It's my first time on a scooter. We'll see if we can get it going. Right this way, sir. Your rat delivery service at your service. Boop, boop. Oh, yeah. Give me that leg. I gotta say, it's very nice using those tweezers. Oh, yeah. It smells like a nice rat. Nice hit. Ooh, someone's at the front. Oh, she's hungry. Let's give her a good sniff. Smell that rat. Oh, wow, yeah, I know. She didn't even tongue flip her. Did you see that? She's like, well, bam! I'm hungry now! Jiggle it around for her. Okay. You look beautiful. We'll leave you to dine by yourself. Oh, what do we have here? My ball python is having himself a drink of water. Oh yeah. Just sucking that water up through the little snake noodle. He is really thirsty. He's still going at it. Two hours later. Oh. All done, huh? Rat number two. Still hungry? Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Oh. Still hungry. Looks like Eclipse is about... Eh, looks like she just got the head. She's just starting out. In the meantime, we need to feed our crusty gecko. Oh yeah, so delicious. Mmm! Mmm! Oh god, it's so good. Mmm! Mmm, so good. Mmm, so good and tasty. Hi. <laughs> he just has that look right now like he's like, Sup, dude. <laughs> Time for round two. Are you watching? Are you waiting for food as well? I'll, uh, I'll have what he's having. Oh, what the hell are you looking at? What's up there? Uh, yeah. 
that's about the trajectory. Smacking lips. Yep, that ceiling sure does look good. Mm, mm. Are you are you staring at the ceiling as well? Oh, okay, right on. She's almost done. Look at her beautiful belly. Well, come on. Oh, I see you got the rat in your mouth. The rat tail is still there. Okay. Well, the yellow anaconda looks finished. So was this video. If you liked the video, strike that like button. If you have any comments, post in the comment section below. Please do subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.